What's up everybody, it's Travis here from Travis.media. Today I have a brand new coding blueprint for you. So just a quick backstory, about two weeks ago I released a six month learn to code blueprint cheat sheet. This cheat sheet was intended for anyone that has no coding experience or someone looking for guidance to go from beginner HTML all the way to a job ready skill set. And what this document provided was a week by week, month by month breakdown of what they should be learning what courses they should be taking, what projects they should be doing, all the way up until week 24, where they start applying for jobs. If you have no clue what I'm talking about, I'll put a link up above or down in the description, you can check that out. But since creating that blueprint, I had a lot of people ask me, hey, why don't you do one for AWS and Python? And that stems from a video I did a couple of months ago where I proposed an AWS slash Python route as an alternative to a traditional web developer route. I'll also put a link to that if you need to catch up on that. Anyway, the point of this video is that I finished that blueprint, the AWS Python blueprint, and it's now out to download now. Now, before we take a look at it, I wanna make one caveat. The web developer blueprint I charged six bucks for. It's like a Starbucks latte. And I felt confident in that route. Like I know exactly what you need to know, just do these things and you'll get to the finish line. Well, the AWS Python route is a little bit more nuanced. There's a number of directions you could take and there's more courses that you need to take. In the web developer blueprint, there's only one course. It covers everything. In this one, there are eight to nine courses. So that in itself is gonna cost you a little bit more money. So I decided to make this one free. Now I have it set up to where you can pay what you want. I think I set it at like three bucks, but you're welcome to just put a zero there and download the blueprint. And again, this is because I just don't feel as confident that this is an A to Z blueprint. There's a number of different ways you can go. So I laid out what I think is a good general path to take, but again, you can twist it different ways. I mean, you can go the DevOps direction, you can go the developer direction, you can do server administration, you could go the Linux mastery route, or any of those, really. So because of that, hey, it's free, unless you wanna pay a couple dollars for it. It's up to you, but let's take a look at it. So you'll see it's the same format as the other one, it's broken down by weeks. So weeks one, two, three, four, you're gonna take these courses. Weeks five through eight, you're gonna take these courses. Uh, week nine through 11, you're gonna take these courses, you're gonna be doing practice tests for the exam, and then you're gonna take the first exam, the first certification exam, in week 12. So it's basically the same format as the other one. It's broken up by weeks. So you know exactly what you should be doing in certain series of weeks. And similarly, you have the supplement document. So if you look at the courses, we have Python for everybody. We have the certified cloud practitioner course, the Linux crash course video, the certified cloud practitioner practice exam. So this is like the first half, hey, we're dealing with the cloud practitioner. And then we're gonna jump into the solution architect and then more Python, some Bodo 3, and finally getting the second certification, which is the Solutions Architect. Now, the reason I said you could go different paths is you may not want to take the Solutions Architect. You may want to do instead the Developer Associate, not the Solutions Architect Associate. And if you do that, you might be learning more developer-focused things. But I think the path that I've laid out here will give you good Python knowledge, Linux knowledge, and two AWS certifications. And with that, I think you're ready to apply for jobs. Any jobs that say Python and AWS, because you're awesome at both after this. You have certifications to prove it, and you'll pass the algorithm tests with your Python skills. So again, you get three documents with this. You get the six month plan. This breaks it down week by week. You get the supplement page. So this tells you here's all your courses and here's the lessons you're gonna take for each course. And you'll see here where it says Python for everybody, I put PFE as an abbreviation. So that corresponds up here with PFE 1 through 21, PFE 22 through 42. So uh, AWS CCP, these abbreviations, you'll find them down here. So that should be clear. And then finally, you have your weeks. This is your 24 weeks. You're going to put your start date up top right here under start date. And then you're going to put your start date under week one. And you're going to write out the date for each week. And you're going to check them off as you work through this. So when you download this, be sure to print out the first page, hang it up by your desk, check off the boxes as you work through them. So when you finish week four, see this box right here, check it off. The supplement is gonna tell you how to do all of this. Then there's also an instructions page that just gives you some extra insight into how to best succeed with this. So hey, you guys asked for an AWS 
Python blueprint based on that video. And by the way, that video is right here for you to watch if you need some backstory behind that. But you guys asked for this blueprint. Here it is. It will get you from A to Z and I hope you succeed at it. So let me know down in the comments if you have any questions. And as always, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, hit that thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video.